Hey guys, this is Natalie. I just wanted to show you how I'm going to edit this new backdrop for so for Easter. So I'm going to go back to my image and this is the original image that I'm planning on using. And the first thing I like to see is the direction of the light. And I do see that this is coming from the right and on my backdrop it is actually coming from the left. So the first thing to do is to flip the image. So image, image rotation, and I think it's canvas horizontal. There you go. Now let's just grab the lasso tool because we want to select the face, the head, the face, there you go. And go into the move tool and simply drag in and dropping and there you go let's just drag it from the layers to go under the backdrop and click here on the corner and make sure you're holding the shift key and drag it down to resize the face oh the, the other thing i wanted to do with this backdrop it's a little bit um, leaning to the left the face so I mean it looks okay even if you leave it like that or, or straight but I think it would look better if the face is a little bit tilted not so much as much as I'm just doing right now but that's just my computer being funny let's just tilt it slowly so something like that would look perfect I'm going to hit the shift key again and resize a little bit more. There you go. And I think it looks okay. Let me just go back and have a look. I might want to have the face a little bit bigger. So shift key again, never forget the shift key. This will keep the proportions right. Might do it a little bit more. Okay, let's just click OK right there. And if you want to see where your face and where is the head um, going in, you just need to lower the opacity right there. So it looks like that the head is a little bit bigger than this bonnet but that should be okay just going to try and place it a little bit better so I'm going to put it a little bit lower just to have a little more space at the top and basically if you are planning on getting the puppets make sure that you don't shoot with bonnets just make sure that your baby's got just head with nothing no hair ribbons nothing like that because it's always a little bit of a problem but not too much so i'm going to quickly show you how to get rid of that so i'm standing on the um, face layer and i'm just going to go to liquify so filter liquify quickly zoom in and drag okay that's it so now we just got the um, well the head looks a bit bigger now so I might just drag my face a little bit higher now there you go I don't want a huge forehead all right so the other thing I wanted to do now is to fix the area that is not sitting correctly on the sides so we can either mask it off but in this backdrop i already made a lot of shadows around and i'd like to keep the shadows as much as i can so i'm just going to use a liquify instead this time so filter 
liquify make sure you're clicking on the original liquify not the last command that you had so liquify all right we click on zoom in there you go and I'm gonna show I'm gonna click here to show um, on show backdrop just because I want to see what's underneath there so it'll make it much easier for me to work um, in this stage I usually just go bloop 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 and try to basically um, see what's going on so I'm going to select the layer that I want to show so it's this one and okay so that looks like all right I can see a little bit what's underneath it Let's just go a little bit deeper and I'm simply going to push everything that doesn't look like it's in the right place and push in as well this chick is not very round so I might just round it later on but let's just put the backdrop in the right place first and again if you find it very hard to see just play with your backdrop just play with your opacity and it's your choice if you want to have more cheeks out or less cheeks out just work with what you feel is good and right for you and for your image. Just going to go again and have a little look. I'm basically just moving with my eyes on all the layers, all the um, the baby face line and I'm trying to see if there's anything that I think should be covered or if I'm happy with how things are but I feel like I'm happy right now I'm just gonna have a quick look at the top as well I'm not sure what's going on here on the side if it's going to show or not so I'm going to drag it just a tiny bit in to make sure that I'm covering the other layer and let's just click OK all right quick look and see where we are so I could do a little bit better here maybe there might just quick we do a little more. We we'll do a little bit more. Just resizing the brush. if I am um, doing it correctly now oh I'm on all layers see I need to choose the right layer there we go okay hope for the best there you go okay so there's a little bit of a gap there but it's okay and here as I said the cheek itself wasn't very straight so well I'm just going off to fix it in a different way um, but the next thing we want to do is look at the shadows um, 
there's a few ways to do the shadows and uh, the way that I usually work is I duplicate the face layer I go to the um, image mode go to multiply open the layer mask invert the layer mask with command I and then with a brush I usually just put on some shadows of course it has to be a little less than what I've just done here but the one really important thing I wanted to talk about the shadows is that try your best to avoid using a very large brush and going okay so don't do that try to work around the image and just ha just see where the natural shadows are so if you have natural shadows around here around there just follow the natural shadows and if if you look around the baby face this area here and the area here and the cheek right there a little bit there a little bit on the lips so it's much lighter the area here on the, on the eyebrow it's much lighter so you don't want to just go ahead and just make the face look um, flat especially if you're using other ways say if you wanted to use um, the brightness and instead of instead of using the um, image mode you use the brightness and it's just literally just painting all over the light and the dark colors and it makes the image look very flat very unnatural just not looking so good so try to avoid that so in this image I don't actually think I need much um, shadows I think it looks pretty good and as I said there is um, I'm just going to merge it down there's lots of shadows like natural shadows on the actual backdrops already so we really don't need to work so much with the shadows if you want you can add a little bit more shadows right there underneath if you have a face that is really outside the um, the, the little um, face insert hole so just add a little more shadows underneath in this case I think it looks okay this baby got very small chin not too much cheeks I think it looks alright so I'm gonna leave it just like that and the other thing I wanted to do is usually I just add a filter of warm warmth to my face so um, but in this case I'm going to use camera raw filter to do that and the reason is is because I want to do a few more adjustments to the face and not just to add the um, warmth uh, to the image so let's just go to filter camera raw filter it's tiny just get it a little bit bigger okay so the face itself it's a bit of a yellow a little bit of um it's a bit of a green tint i can't really describe it so i'm just gonna add a little bit more magenta a little bit more of the yellow and maybe less highlights we want to do some uh, contrast as well and some more color okay so I've added the vibrance as well um, but it looks all right to me I'm going to click OK and see how it looks like on the baby okay I don't know if you can see the difference now but can click before and after Right, so it, to me it looks much better now and it fit the image a whole lot better and I'm pretty happy with it so because the face looks a little bit dark I will add a little more light so I'm gonna go back to my camera filter let's just try using this one this time Okay, so this is much better right now. 
and I'm pretty happy with it so I'm just going to flatten my image I'm going to go to um, filter and liquify again because this chick uh, just, I just can't see it, it's just really bugging me so it's wobbly oops one second there you go, let's just click this one off again let's just fix this chick a little bit tiny chin. It's mainly because of the angle of the image as well. Let's just click OK. And there you go. Now if you want to do anything like last sort of adjustment, I personally just add a little bit of a yellow filter on top of everything. I have it on a shortcut right there because it's just part of my actions. But you can simply just find it if you go to um, this little black and white icon here and for the filter and it's simply just the first filter that pops and um, it's just it's perfect one so I'm pretty happy with this image I can flatten my image and share it that's it if you guys have any any other questions please let me know if you want to learn anything new let me know as well and I'll do my best and answer all of your questions. Thank you. Bye.